Ever wonder why we yawn? It's a question that might seem simple at first glance. Most of us have grown up believing that yawning is a sign of tiredness or boredom. And yet, the mystery deepens as we delve into the realm of science, which doesn't fully understand why we yawn. Intriguing, isn't it? But there's more. Have you noticed how yawning seems to be contagious? You see someone yawn and suddenly you feel the irresistible urge to yawn too. Some theories suggest this contagious yawn might be a form of social bonding, a primal instinct dating back to our earliest ancestors. Other theories propose an even more fascinating concept, suggesting that yawning might serve a physiological function such as cooling the brain. But these are just theories, and the true reason remains shrouded in mystery. Next time you yawn, think about the fact that you're participating in a mystery that's puzzled scientists for centuries. What makes the sky blue? A question that has puzzled many for centuries. The answer lies in the mesmerizing dance between sunlight and our atmosphere. This celestial ballet results in what we perceive as the sky's blue hue. You see, sunlight is a mixed bag of different colors, each represented by light waves of varying lengths. When sunlight enters our atmosphere, it encounters oxygen and nitrogen molecules. These molecules scatter the sunlight in every direction, a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering. Now here's the key part. Blue light waves are shorter and smaller than other colors, making them more prone to scattering. As a result, when we look up, our eyes catch more of this scattered blue light, painting our sky its characteristic azure. So the next time you gaze at a clear blue sky, you'll know it's a result of light waves, gases and particles in our perception. Why do we dream? This question has baffled humankind for centuries. Various theories attempt to decode this nightly mystery. Firstly, we have the psychodynamic theory proposed by none other than the father of psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud. He believed that dreams represent our repressed desires lurking in the unconscious mind. In our dreams, we play out these hidden desires, a kind of secret theater of the mind. Then there's the information processing theory, which posits that dreams are the brain's way of sifting and sorting the day's experiences. Like a librarian, our mind catalogues these experiences into the library of our memory. Finally, we have the physiological theory. It suggests that dreams serve a crucial role in neural development and preserving neural pathways. Like a gym for the brain, dreams keep our neural networks fit and functioning. Though we may not have a definitive answer, understanding the theories behind why we dream can help us appreciate these nightly adventures. Are you ready for more mysteries? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world around us. Enjoyed unraveling these mysteries? If so, show your support by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe too for more of such compelling content. Subscribe now and join us in our next journey into the world of mysteries. Until then, keep wondering.